the cold, it's really taken hold. When we look at the cold across the country, between the next couple of days, all 50 states will feel those temperatures at least dropping actual temperatures to that freezing mark. But a reprieve not too far away. We got to sit with this cold, though, for a little bit. Jane and Craig on the desk this morning. It's in the Northeast, so it's hitting close to home. Yes. <laughs> but it's impressive to see how strong this cold is. We're not even yet to December. And you know what I think cold's worst enemy is, is wind. Yo, um, when you factor, so when you factor in the wind, oh, my goodness. And it wasn't just us who were feeling the impact of the cold and the wind, but we actually, you know, had a, a bit of, a, of an issue in Washington, D.C., uh, the National Christmas Tree, uh, in fact, did topple over in D.C. Yeah, we had incredible. I mean, look Whoa. at this. They're hoisting it back up after 44 mile per hour wind gust was clocked at Reagan National Airport throughout Time the morning. Here, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> the, throughout the morning, they were Whoa. sustained at nearly 20 miles per hour. So you imagine these temperatures. They're below freezing. Oh. You've got a 20 mile per hour wind, and it was bone chilling. I mean, yeah. my heat clocked on. Uh, I had it on all night long. You can see these winds here out of the northwest. And so it's that drier wind that comes in also. So you feel it not only just to the touch of your skin, but your skin kind of dries out too. Your mm -hmm. lips get a little chapped. You feel that. And this morning, I mean, we keep these temperatures cold. I mean, right now, 27 degrees. That is the coldest temperature we have seen in New York City this entire season. Charleston has dropped down to 22 degrees. So the cold air is here and the cold air is going to stick around, too. I mean, we have New York City um, down to D.C. Uh, that that fridge is, is locked. We had freeze warnings as far south as the Gulf Coast. And I think, Craig, when we look at some of these temperatures down in Florida, oh. downright cold. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, the people who went south thinking snowbirds, uh, they're caught by surprise. And I think a lot of people out there are thinking, all right, I came with my summer gear or at least lighter clothes. You probably have to go shopping because we do have some freeze warnings that go all the way down through Georgia, Valdosta, clear over into Jacksonville, Tallahassee this morning. First freeze tracker, a lot of you have been falling below the freezing point for a number of hours in some cases. So hopefully you got the pipes all covered up. It's a precaution that we were telling you about yesterday. And of course, certainly as you go through the day tomorrow. So you're taking a look at Panama City there and look at this looks great out at the beach but I'll tell you what you head out the door and the sunshine is in place but then you're like wow this is cold by anyone's standards especially Florida and Georgia standards so that southern chill continues this morning and it encompasses a good chunk of the panhandle of Florida this morning as well taking a look at tomorrow things start to get a little bit better as that's we go through the saving Friday grace morning. there right there look at that right <laughs> seeing that blue turn to green on the map oh that's a bring good sign. it on it, it returns I mean <laughs> exactly. the, the state capital of Tallahassee we were, we were looking at, at that camera just just below me we dropped down to the freezing mark Tallahassee was under a freeze warning this morning Oof. we saw those frost advisories as far south as Craig was showing as as Ocala. I mean, when you see the freezing temperatures reach Florida, it was fascinating to see that when we were talking about the 50 states in the country, it wasn't Alaska or it wasn't Hawaii. <laughs> it wasn't Hawaii that we were concerned with. They were going to, to see those freezing temperatures in Mauna Kea, but it was Florida yeah. that could have potentially stayed above freezing. Not the case, though. No, no. I mean, thankfully, we are going to see that bounce back, the rebound. It's going to happen, yes. though, yeah. uh, it is going to happen. It arrives as we go into this weekend. Coming up, you'll probably start to feel it even as soon as tomorrow morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.